Hello guys, this is Anmol Jaiswal, a student of Devi Ahila University in Dhar, currently pursuing M.Tech in Information Technology. In this video, we are going to learn about JDBC, which is Java Database Connectivity and how we could use it to manipulate our database through our front-end Java application. And then we will see how we can merge data from multiple tables. First, we will look at some of the slides, then we will make a program on JDBC using NetBeans as the IDE. JDBC, Java Database Connectivity. JDBC is an API application programming interface which is used in Java programming to interact with the database. And the classes and interfaces of JDBC allow application to send requests made by the user to the specified database. What we learn from here, JDBC is an application programming interface. Okay. And the classes and interfaces which are defined in JDBC has some methods which will be used to send SQL queries to our database. And I will be using my SQL as a database in this video. These are the five golden steps which we will be using to connect our Java application to our database using JDBC. Uh, these terms may be new for you but don't worry, I will teach you each and everything in the subsequent lecture. Loading the driver, creating the connection, create a statement, execute the query, close the connection. And then we will see how we manipulate our database. Database could be any, as I repeat, as I told earlier, insert operation, update operation, delete operation, retrieve operation. Insert operation to insert data in the database, update operation to update the already stored data in the database, delete operation delete a particular column or row from the database, retrieve operation to get the data from the database and then we will see merge data from multiple tables using SQL join clause which join rows from two or more tables based on related column between them. We will use inner join in our SQL query which return records that have matching values in both the tables. First of all, let me show you what I have done in my SQL database and I am using my SQL workbench which is the graphical user interface tool for my SQL. As I have already logged in, I don't need to input password in it. We will open a new query tab. We will run our query. As you can see, I have already created a database whose, whose name is University. We will run this query. Yeah, it's showing a green tick means the query runs successfully. I have already created a table whose name is student in this university database let me show you the information that I had stored in it. Yeah. Roll number name. We have two columns and the information in it is 212 Sam, 233 Peter, 122 Henry, 132 Biden. We will retrieve this same information from our program in NetBeans. I recommend you to follow me along throughout the subsequent lecture. Hello guys, this is our NetBeans integrated development environment which we will be using to create our Java application and connect it to the MySQL database. And this as you can see, I have created a package whose name is database and I have created two classes in it. One is connection.java which is open here right now and other result.java which we will use in subsequent lecture to retrieve the result from the database or to insert or update it which is database manipulation actually I have created two classes one is for connection one, one is for the manipulation for better code readability first we will implement our connection class this is our connection class open here as you can see I have imported a java.sql package why I have imported this package because all the classes and interfaces which are defined by JDBC are stored in this package and I have declared an object of the connection class which is stored in this SQL package and we will return an object of connection class 
from this connection dot java class to our result dot java class so let's so now we have implemented the code for our mysql database connection in this i have loaded the type 4 driver of mysql database from the statement class dot phone name com dot mysql dot cj dot jdbc dot driver we need to download this driver from the google just type java java file marvin repository and click on the very first link you can download any file from here and then go to netbeans just this is our database package click on libraries right click on it and add jar folder and you can select i have downloaded two files you can select any one file and just click on open as i have already imported the jar file i don't need to import it again as you can see here mysql connector java 8.0.25.jar file okay so from here we have loaded the our type 4 driver and then this is the url for our database which is university as i have shown you earlier this is the name username of our database which is root and i have set also password as root and from we are here we are establishing the connection through the driver manager class which is inbuilt class of java with the method dot get connection okay now let's move on to our result dot java class so now we have implemented our result dot java class in this i have also imported the java dot sql package and then i have declared a con object of the connection class and here we are getting the con object from the connection class which we have defined earlier from this class here it is returning the con object and here from this statement we are getting that con object and then we have also declared an object of the prepared statement interface which is contained in the sql package which has some methods through which you can send sql queries and execute it on the database pt is equals to con dot prepared statement query here we pass query as the parameter and result set is the object which will this statement pt dot execute query which which will return the result in this object and then we will process the result from a while loop now we will run this code as you can see we are getting the output as roll number and student name and this is the same output as we got earlier in the mysql workbench let me show you again just type use the name of our database university execute it query runs successfully just get me the information from student table now execute this query yes as you can see this is the same information 212 sam 233 peter 122 henry and 132 biden this is the same information as we are getting in our program now we will update our database through our this java application here i have used query update student set name is equals to jerry where roll number equal to 233 so in the database the name corresponding to roll number 233 is peter we will change this name peter to jerry let's see how just run our code here it is saying number of rows affected are one let me tell you instead of using execute query you have to use execute update to update the database and it will return the number of rows affected by your query as you can see this is showing the number of rows affected are one let's again check our database close this one this is earlier now again execute our query as you can see the name corresponding to roll number 233 now changes to j now we will learn how we can drop a column in a table stored in the database through jdbc here i am using the sql query alter table student drop column name it will drop this column name so let's execute this query yeah 
it is saying build successful it means that query runs successfully let's move on to mysql workbench close this earlier one let's again execute this query select pointer from student yes you can see that the name column has been gone because of this program now we are on the verge of completion of our video now the last topic is how we can merge rows from multiple tables here i have created a database whose name is shopping and i have created two tables in the shopping database one is orders another is customers let me show you the information that i have stored in the orders table this is the information order id p name cust id and now the information stored in the customers table is this one cust id and name one thing i want you to notice is that the orders table and the customer table have identical column whose name is cust id but they have, may have different values of the same values and what we want we want to return the corresponding result having the same value and the same value is 112 120 in the customer this is the customer table result when we move on to orders table this it will also having 112 and 120 in the customer id column so let's run this orders table as you can see it is also having 112 and 120 so we want to retrieve the result having merged row from both the table so we will run the, this query select orders dot order id orders dot p name customer dot name from orders in a join customers on orders dot cust id equal to customer dot cust id we will run this query it will return the merged rows from both the table as you can see it is retrieving order id p name from the orders table orders dot order id orders dot p name and it will it is retrieving name customer name from the customer table customer dot name from orders inner join clause we are using inner join clause to retrieve this result customers on and this is the condition orders dot cust id equal to customer dot cust id so it will return the result corresponding to the values having same in the cust id column in both the tables so now we will retrieve the same result from our program that we have developed in the netbeans here first you have to go to connection class and change the database name which we have used earlier which is university to shopping change it to shopping as i have already changed go to result.java and i have used the query that that we have used in the mysql workbench this is the same query it will return the result in the result set object pt dot execute query and now we can retrieve the result just run this code as you can see it is retrieving the same result order id product name customer name 2331 bread sudhir 331 brush lakshman as we got in the mysql workbench okay I hope you like this video thank you for watching